t factorial equals t cube minus t, and our job is to solve for t. So, can you solve it? Okay, just a quick recap. For those who don't know what a factorial is, when you see something like t factorial, it means you multiply all the natural numbers from 1 up to t. For example, 4 factorial means 4 times, 3 times, 2 times 1, which is 24. 5 factorial means 5 times, 4 times, 3 times, 2 times 1, which is 120. Now here you can see that 4 factorial can also be written as 4 times. This is the same as 3 factorial. Similarly, 5 factorial can also be written as 5 times. This is the same as 4 factorial. So any t factorial can also be written as t times t minus 1 factorial. So this will become t times t minus 1 factorial equals t cube minus t. Now we can rewrite this t cube as t times t square. So from this right-hand side, take t as common, and we get t times this t square minus 1. Wow, both these t will get cancelled out, and we will be left with t minus 1. Factorial equals t square minus 1. Now here comes the real magic. We can again rewrite this t minus 1 factorial as t minus 1 times t minus 2 factorial. And this right-hand side can be written as t square minus 1 can be written as 1 square. So this is of the form a square minus b square, which is equal to a minus b times a plus b. So this will become t minus 1 times t plus 1. Noise. Oh, look. T minus 1 will also get cancelled out from both sides, and we will be left with T minus 2. Factorial equals T plus 1. Now let us substitute a variable K as T minus 2. So take 2 this side to get T equals K plus 2, and hence T plus 1 equals K plus 2 plus 1, or K plus 3. Hence this equation can be rewritten as K factorial equals k plus 3. Now obviously this left-hand side is a factorial, which is an integer, and hence k must be an integer. Now take this k on right-hand side to get k factorial minus k equals 3, and then write this k factorial as k times k minus 1 factorial. So take k as common from here to get k times, this will be k minus 1 factorial minus, this will be 1, and this equals 3. Since k is integer, there are only two options to satisfy this equality. First is if k equals 1, and k minus 1 factorial minus 1 equals 3. This means k minus 1 factorial equals 3 plus 1 or 4, which is not possible because if k is 1, then this will become 0 factorial, which is 1. Hence, 1 cannot be equal to 4, so we will discard it. Now, second possibility is that if k equals 3 and k minus 1 factorial minus 1 equals 1, this means k minus 1 factorial equals 1 plus 1 or 2, which is correct, because if k is 3, then k minus 1 factorial equals 2 factorial, which is 2 times 1 or 2, and hence left side equals right hand side. So k equals 3. This means t equals k plus 2 or 3 plus 2, which is 5. And that's it. This is the only possible solution for t. Let us verify the same. t factorial equals 5 factorial, which is 120. And for the right-hand side, t cube minus t equals 5 cube minus 5, or 125 minus 5, which is 120. And there we go. So good.